Hello and welcome. Um, in today's video, I want us to look at uh, the sum of arithmetic series, right? But before we could do that, I would like us to differentiate between a sequence and a series, right? So, what a sequence really is, it's nothing huge. It's just a list of numbers as you may have noticed in our previous videos up to this far, right? While a series now is an addition or the sum of the terms in that sequence, right? So if I add these terms up, I create a what? I create a series, right? Just like in a sequence, when we wanted to find a certain term in a sequence, we used Tn is equal to something. The same is applicable for the series. In this case, we use Sn is equal to something. And we're going to find out what that something is for an arithmetic series. Right. For an arithmetic series, this is the formula that we use. Or we could use this one, which is rarely used, really, but it's always handy when you are given the last term. So the last term in this case will be L. L will be the last term of a series. Right. And L has a definition, and the definition of L is equal to Tn, the ordinary Tn that we have dealt with up to this far, which is equal to A plus N minus 1 times T for an arithmetic series, for an arithmetic sequence, I mean to say. All right, so now you have to know, uh, we have to define each and every variable as we have always done in the previous videos, right? So your Sn right here is the sum of and your n right here sorry about my uh for my bad handwriting this is the position as we have always seen your a right here is the first term as it has always been and your d is the difference right on the other hand your a is still what is still your first term your L is the last term now. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put here. Oh, my bad. May I please be forgiven for that. All right. Just a quick fix. Over there. Thank you. Yeah, now it's fixed. All right, so now let's look at an example to see where we can use each uh, formula, where each formula is applicable. So in this example, we are asked to find the sum of the first 20 terms of the series. All right, so remember our formula is Sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Right, so we are told that we need to find the what the first the sum of the first 20 terms. All right, so what is this 20? This 20 is our n, so n is equal to 20, right? What do we need again? We need a, a is there is given. We need uh, what do we need again? Uh, the difference. The difference in this case is equal to three minus minus one, which is equal to four. So our difference is equal to four, right? Great. Now let's find our Sn. That's equal to, our N is 20 divided by two, two times negative one plus 
what is n 20 minus 1 times d what is d that's a 4 right great so always please always use a calculator for this for, for these kind of uh, to avoid mistakes right even though i may demonstrate here using my head and all that but i always advise you to use a calculator right and i'm also going to use a calculator for this one so this is 20 minus 1 that's a 19 times 4 right okay let's use a calculator pull out a calculator all right so it's going to be an inside is going to be 19 times 4 that's a 76 76 minus 2 76 minus 2 that's a 74 uh, 74 times 10 74 times 10 let's say 740 right so our sn in this case is equal to 740 and we're done so you can see in this case we have applied the first formula that i showed you all right and that's that all right let's look at our uh, uh the next example uh, where we we apply the second formula all right so in this example we are us to calculate the sum of the following sequence of the arithmetic sequence right and we are given the last term over there right so this tells us automatically tells us that we can use this formula right remember the formula that we discussed and we said we barely use it we're gonna use it here so now because we're given the last term of the of the sequence what we need to do is to find how many find out how many terms are in the sequence and to do that we use this formula remember we said l is equal to tn equal to a plus n minus one times the difference right so let's do that right away so what is our l our l is 111 because it's the last term in a sequence right what is our a our a is three we're given so what we are looking for is our n right so how do we find the common difference difference is equal to five minus three and that gives us a oh sorry with that gives us a two right so having that now what we could do let's plug in first right and then we distribute we distribute we get uh, 3 plus 2n minus 2 right we simplify that it's 111 is equal to 3 minus 2 that's a 1 and we have 1 plus 2n right we transpose one to the other side and we are left with one okay so we get 101 minus 111 minus one and we get uh, that's equal to two and right and we get here we get 110 that's equal to two and we divide by two both sides and we get n is equal to 55 so this tells us that this the terms in this sequence so this is the 50 the, the uh, yeah the 55th term yeah the 55th term yeah so that's t55 let me say so that's just t55 so now what we could do what we have to do not what we could do but what we have to do is to go back to this equation and plug in everything that we have and we find our sn our sn will be equal to what is n we just found it it's oh dear god it's 55 right that's gonna be what's a what's a that's uh, three plus what is n what is l our l was given initially and that's it over there it's 111 right so let's use a calculator to find 
the final value of this. So that's going to be 55 divided by 2 uh, times 3 plus 111. Right, so we get S, we get that Sn is equal to 3135. Right, so that's our final answer. Right, okay, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, bye bye. See you in the next video.